Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, this year, World Food Day is devoted to analyzing how food and agriculture should evolve in order to face the impacts of climate change. Erratic weather patterns and the increase of pest and disease outbreaks are affecting agriculture productivity and therefore undermining global food security. As usual, the poorest and most hungry people suffer the most. 80% of them live in rural areas. They earn their living and feed their families from the very sector that bears the brunt of the impacts. Climate change is already undermining our efforts to end hunger and all other forms of malnutrition by 2030. Nearly 800 million people remain food insecure nowadays. Almost 106 million children under the age of five are stunted. There is a growing international recognition that the agriculture sectors can play a transformative role in addressing the impacts of climate change. Actions to promote resilience in agriculture cut across the usual distinction between adaptation and mitigation. In fact, as we promote adaptation, we also mitigate the effects of climate change. World Food Day 2016 is an opportunity to identify how best to respond to these challenges. In the COP21 last December in Paris, most countries included agriculture in their nationally determined contributions. In November this year, these countries will gather for COP22 in Morocco to put these pledges into motion. By working together, we can seize the transformative potential of the agriculture sectors. The climate is changing. Food and agriculture must change too.